Calling Nate Burleson. Look who it is. It's Billy Bush. Billy, what's up? <laughs> hey, man. You're interviewing Don Lemon? I do. I have Don Lemon. There's a beautiful irony. Nobody in the media hates Donald Trump more than Donald Lemon. You're right about that. You, you, can, you can see the, the complete disdain when he's talking about Trump. Yet the irony is CNN has lost so much in primetime. How much is Don yes. Lemon willing to admit he misses Donald Trump? Is there any part of you that misses covering Trump? Not one. I can say that none. Zip. Zilch. <laughs> Regardless of what you feel about Trump, he does move the needle. He did move the needle. I don't believe that he's going to be able to do it to the level and have the same impact that he had in the past. So he says, no Trump, no problem. He's still taking on the headlines on his new show, CNN Tonight with Don Lemon. And now he's also taking on race in America. In his new book, This is the Fire, what I say to my friends about racism. Writing a book is a tough thing because it's so personal, but this book literally just sort of flowed out of me. What prompted you to write this one? We've always been dealing with the issue of race in America, but it had been at the forefront in the news. A lot of people have been asking me what to do. They didn't know how to talk about it with their friends. And so they were calling me, asking me, what do I do? Mostly my white friends. I decided that, hey, maybe I should put this into a book form uh, so that people can have sort of a guide. And that's what happened. You talk about how in order for us to truly understand the root of racism, we have to come to grips about the history and the past of this country. Why is that important? Because then you operate from a place of truth. It's just as simple as that. You're not operating from a lie. Today I wore a shirt that I designed for extra, which is extra compassion. And that's one of the words that come up when dealing with racism and, and how we can move on from some of these atrocities that have happened. Well, compassion is a good word, but so is grace. We have to allow people grace, and we've got to allow people to be able to have these conversations without feeling that they're being attacked. But we also can't be worried about how it's gonna land. You and uh, Chris Cuomo, you guys have a, a bromance. How's he doing, especially considering everything that's going on with Governor Cuomo? He's doing fine. He is one of my dearest friends, and whatever he's going through, we have his back and he has our support, meaning me and my fiance. Any plans for the wedding? You're gonna have a ton of people, small wedding, exotic location. <laughs> TBD, yes, there will be a wedding. We haven't decided if it's gonna be a ton of people. I think we'll end up having a party. But right now he's celebrating his new book, This is the Fire. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.